Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. Um, have you ever, or at any point in your life, watched like Miss USA or whatever, Miss World, Miss Universe, Mr. Universe, whatever, whatever your cup of tea is. Well, why you put Mr. Universe on my I jacket? I mean, you do watch a show called The Boys, so. <laughs> that is not a gay <laughs> erotica all right it is it is a show about superheroes and even though i do really like homelander it does not mean that i have homosexual tendencies thank you sir not that there's anything wrong so, with that. like but it's just actually like have yes. you ever watched a beauty pageant at all 100 percent, man i've i've watched uh i guess i've watched like miss universe you know it's funny when we were you know when the world was younger they used to show those pageants on tv and i would enjoy watching. oh yeah my mom used to sit and watch like we would watch it like yeah. i'm like whatever night tuesday night miss miss universe we'd watch the whole goddamn thing and it was the most boring oh my <laughs> god dude like everybody was just like where's the swimsuit pageant all right i'm done like i don't understand yeah i never understood why yeah. it was a uh a thing i have to say is that most of the time jonas i would have to say is that i'm not attracted to that archetype of woman and that's oh, not yeah. to say is that they're Me not either. beautiful women they are beautiful creatures they take good care of their bodies but that is not necessarily that, like that vision of perfection is not what i'm looking for in a partner yeah well myself. yeah and I, i've uh i mean i've said that a lot like just like just because a girl is quote unquote hot mm -hmm. does not mean that i'm interested in her Exactly. Like, I mean, I'll, I can objectively say, oh, she's beautiful, but that doesn't mean I would even think about dating her. Exactly. Um, yeah. it's, and it's not necessarily like the idea of they might be. A, I don't know. And, and there might be something about, uh, you know, like, I think she might be out of my league. I don't know. May, maybe it's because I've always indulged myself in women who have imperfections. You know, thus well, I, I have imperfections that I'm attracted to that. Yeah. But I mean, I think the other piece, too, is is and this is the reason why I don't fawn over celebrities like celebrity women. Mm -hmm. I have no they I don't know who they are as a person. And it's that a matters to me. It's a facade. Well, but I, what I mean by that is. You can be the most beautiful woman in the world, mm -hmm. but if you have a garbage personality, I don't find you attractive. I mean, you can't pin that on them anymore. You can pin on they have the perfect personality. You know? Right. I, you have to get to know an individual. Right, exactly. But what, I guess what I mean, at face value, yes. I'm not going to be like, oh, you're a gorgeous supermodel. I'm going to fawn over you and be, a, be, like, be like. But it is scientifically proven that most people think that beautiful people are good and that ugly people are bad. Which is, oddly enough. Uh, a lot of beautiful people have terrible personalities because they don't ever have to use them. Yep. They don't develop a personality because they get by by being hot. Same not, thing. I mean, I'm not even talking about women. I'm talking about guys, too. Absolutely. Like, Same thing works for skin tone, too, but that was yesterday's video. <laughs> that was yesterday's video. <laughs> so there's an AI beauty pageant. So anyways, yeah, where I was getting, <laughs> there was an AI beauty pageant, which blows my mind. If you're watching on, uh, if you're watching on uh, YouTube, there's a video playing of an AI beauty pageant. So Morocco's AI influence, influencer Kenza Laley was crowned the world's first Miss AI. There was 1,500 computer-generated models in a tough co competition. A tough competition. It says uh, she was hailing from Morocco, secured the prestigious title of world's wait, first wait, Miss no. AI. Prestigious. Hold on, fam. Wait, hold, wait, wait. Before she hailed from Morocco. Oh, yeah. I brother, guess, you I mean guess, she was created in I Morocco? I guess wherever they're created. Or, no. I guess maybe whatever culture they make her from. <laughs> I don't know if she was created in Morocco or she was created to be Moroccan. Yeah, exactly. This is what I'm saying. Like, what do you know, man? This is like it's like we're living in weird science from the 80s, Kinda but they're is. not in. They're not like real in person. Yeah. So, anyways, it said, uh, it. Uh, let's see. She, uh, Lalani Valina from France. She was. She didn't make it. Well, no, not you know. What? I'm actually gonna look up who's Lalani Lalina Lalina L A L I N A. Oh, shut up! My ad blocker's not up to date. Shh. <laughs> Lalina Valina is really her name. It's a rhyming name. Lalina Valina. Yeah, same. Yeah, Lalina Valina. Lalina. Is she beautiful? She does not. Exist. Oh, you misspelled it. It's L I. Is that her though? I have no idea. That might. It looks like Lalina Valina Laron. No, it's Lalina Valina is her name. 
<laughs> Anyways, Alina, uh, Alina. the other one. So, but here's the thing. I guess they have right, whatever. something that they promote. So it says Lolina Valina from France promoting kindness secured the second spot, while Olivia C. from Portugal, an advocate for harmonious coexistence between real and artificial worlds, claimed thirds. And I'm like, so they have like a a brand? <sighs> and then they talked. Like, she, the winner talked. With chat GBT voice. And or... what she said was, while I don't experience emotions like humans, I am generally thrilled about this win. Bro. Bro. And she has like 200,000 followers on Instagram. Bro. It says the AI beauty pageant, a platform where AI influence were evaluated based on. So here's the categories, not like swimsuit and hidden talent. Aesthetics, online influence, Bro. and technical proficiency. Bro. I hate what's happening. <laughs> you and me both. Like, I'm like, I don't even know what to say. Like, you know me. I don't like... I don't like my fridge to be smart. I don't want a, I mean. You know, you, you Jonas don't want his women smart either. Wait a second. You just said you don't want an AI bitch, right? <laughs> oh, so you don't want your women to be smart. I want my women to be very smart. No, you Naturally don't. Naturally smart. And but I like, said AI bitch because it's not a real woman. Yeah. I'm allowed to use that, that terminology for her, right? But like, I. What? I, mm. You what, Jonas? I'm going to say. Because I got a lot I to say, I sound like too. such a boomer, and it's fine. Here it comes. Sorry. Right, I your, hate AI. Get your old man I take hate, out. I hate what AI is doing to the world. And it's only in its bait. It's like, it's literally a sperm and an egg right now. It's not even like 10 cells. It's yeah. like, well, it doesn't, it doesn't, it goes two, four, eight. It's not even eight cells yet. AI is four cells inside this, inside this creator. <laughs> Cause I don't even I can't it's not I'm not compare it to humans because it's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I and I already hate it. I mean it's gonna be super good. There's gonna be a lot of good that comes from it. But shit eventually, like this eventually. The shit like this makes me cringe harder than anything. And the amount of deep fakes and fake photos and all that shit that's just gonna be prevalent in oh, the man. world, like it's bad today. In ten years it's gonna be insane. We're gonna have an AI president. Oh my God! You have no idea how true that actually may be. I mean, you the have no presidents idea. basically now are AI anyway no, because, because everyone else talking, wants a cousin. Yeah, obviously we're talking like hundreds of years down the line. But yeah, you, you it's going to be there's going to be a model that is the face of the country, and everyone behind it is going to make it do what it does. So you can have a mm -hmm. a, a 200 year old person, and they're going to look like they're like 30. Now, to a certain extent, I feel like that is the adequate use for AI. Because when it comes to processing information and coming up with solutions, AI currently is not up to par because it produces a lot of misinformation. But in the future, it will be like the idea, a way of processing and problem solving. So, yes, I could see us having an AI president. When it comes down to us solving an issue or AI solving an issue, it's kind of 50-50 right now. Yo, that, that number's going to go up and up and up for AI to the point where we're going to be consulting AI for a lot of our issues, a lot of our own, like, yeah, human world problems. Yeah, stuff that doesn't involve uh, emotion. So AI is currently in its infancy, and naturally, <laughs> humankind goes to one thing, the female form, <laughs> and what How else? How can we exploit women even more and, uh, with uh, AI? Trying to exploit money from others. That one is weird. Really? It's, yeah, it's, explain, it's exploiting female bodies and exploiting money from people. Yep. That's Try, trying to lie to people to be someone that you're not or try to get somebody canceled for some fake pictures or and just porn. <laughs> that's it. That's all. And that's and, But honestly, Jonas, when you think about it, that's what the internet was in its infancy to a certain extent you know like the the internet used to just be like porn and lies i mean it still is <laughs> it, it, still it, it, it is. never wasn't porn and lies it Chappelle made so the best Chappelle made the best skit about like if you could if the internet was a real place and you'd walk around in it it would be like the dirt like it was just like everywhere it's just like it like ed pills yep. insurance porn and lies. It's very funny. I picture the internet as like an 18-year-old girl 
just got out of college, legal for everything. Just got out of high school? Yeah, just got out of high school, legal for everything except for drinking, but you can't drink on the internet. You can buy alcohol, I guess, but you got to get somebody else to do it for you. <laughs> um, but she's like an 18-year-old girl, and all she can do is eat hot chip and lie. She just like tries to feed you and inf- tries to feed you shit that you don't need, lies to you about everything, and but has a hot body, and that's the internet for you. Bunch of hot bodies, lies, and shit you don't need. Yeah, it's like it's like when you date someone and you know they're terrible for you, but like you keep dating them because like the sex is good. Exactly. But <laughs> but it's not to say that if you don't dig deep enough in the internet, you can find vital information, man. There's beautiful uh pure websites like Wikipedia who have been providing uh encyclopedias, free encyclopedias to the world. So AI is still going through its infancy stage where nobody really knows how to use it for anything useful. Yeah, it's, get, it's, it's getting It's too there. inconsistent to be used for anything useful. I mean, it's get, I mean, companies are using it for like data analysis and things like that. That's like that's facts. that that's like that's like where you're using it for good, but like it's still in such its infancy about like what it can do. I think the fact that um AI video and AI um photos are are even a thing mm-hmm. is just it's that is going to be very bad very soon. it's going to be bad for a long time and there's already been reports of ai being used in the current uh political climate um to try to influence people to vote well um, yeah it's, it's, it's like, i mean well, but it's, of course just for that disinformation but then also like deep fakes of like revenge porn like yeah. two very like awful things. Yeah, like we all we all saw the Taylor Swift the uh, photos that were flooding. What? I, I guess I no. I guess I didn't. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of AI thing. images of oh. Taylor Swift. Flo- I mean, flooded. but I mean, people have been putting celebrities' heads on naked bodies forever. How would you feel if somebody made uh, deep fakes of you having sex or saying something awful? Yeah, and the crazy thing is because we're two guys, it would most likely be me and you and oh. engaging <laughs> in something. Oh my god, that would be wild. <laughs> How would you feel about that? Would you be like, this needs to be taken down? Or are you going to be like, let the ecosystem I breathe? can say that I don't give an F until I see it on the internet and I'm like, yo. <laughs> that is literally you essing my D. Oh my God, bro. Get out of here. Get out That's I all mean, time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. For Jonas. <laughs> 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 we out. <laughs>